Pokemon trainers and welcome to another Pokemon Go PvP video. Today we're going to be covering the Fusion Cup, which will be running from January 1st to January 31st. It is another Sylph tournament. Uh, it's essentially going to be running off dual type Pokemon as well as Pokemon with the second move costing less than or equal to 50k. So no 75k extra charge move Pokemon like a uh, Drapion, Skarmory or any legendaries that cost 100k, for example. Uh, bands include Azumarill, Medicham, Dugong, and all forms of Wormadam. I do think this cup is really great because it obviously has great dust saving, and honestly it has really good re reusability for everything that you've invested into in the past, outside of course the legendaries and anything with a 75k extra move. <clears throat> Um, otherwise, we're going to be going over the Game Press um, Meta Simplified graphic, which I will be providing a link to in the description. Uh, we're going to go over each of the Pokemon in the main infographic, and then if you look to the side, those what six different subcategories will cover about one Pokemon, sometimes maybe two, in each of those categories when we're done. So first off, if you look at the very top. You can see that Altaria is up there. Let's go ahead and pull Altaria up. Altaria with Dragon Breath, Sky Attack, and Dragon Pulse. Um, what can you say about Altaria? It is the overpowered PvP Dragon type. Um, honestly, it has a lack of its old rivals, being Bastiodon, Steelix, Skarmory, and really any other dragons. None of them are in the cup. It's really poised to dominate the meta, and it's honestly a clear favorite to all teams of six. Its biggest threats are Ice and Fairy types, and honestly, Altaria handles everything else, especially the Grass types, Fighting types, Mud Boys. Maybe watch out for Wishcash and its spammable Blizzard. And yeah, otherwise, it's amazing. Um, if you have yet to invest in Altaria, I absolutely recommend it. I feel like it's a staple, much like um, Dragonair was for the Timeless Cup. So, yeah, Altaria. Awesome. Going to the left of the infographic, you're going to see the grass types. And truth be told, the king of these grass types is Venusaur here with Vine Whip, Frenzy Plant, and Sludge Bomb. Let's be honest, it's everyone's favorite starter, right? It's here to reign as the king of the grass types, yet again, grass types, geez, yet again. Uh, not only does Sludge Bob give victory over all other grass types, truth be told, but it also dominates the likes of the fairies, and you guessed it, Altaria, if it can land. Venusaur covers the waters, mud boys, ground types, electrics, ugh, everything. Also, I want to note, stop using Ivysaur. We all should have Venusaur now. Frenzy Plant with this new community that we just had what, two days ago from the time I'm recording. I hope you have your Frenzy Plant Venusaur because it is amazing. Alright, other grass types. We have Victory Bell in here. Ignore the name. Uh, Razor Leaf. It honestly melts away the Mud Boys as if they were never there. Um, it does very well against the fairies. I am going to recommend Sludge Bomb over Acid Spray. I haven't touched this Victory Bell since the uh, the last update. And Acid Spray has kind of become pretty doo-doo. But yeah, Victory Bell, it's solid if you want to use a Razor Leafer. Honestly, that's what it's good for. Otherwise, the next grass type in this infographic is Executor. I do not know. I've yet to really invest in an Executor because I didn't have a Legacy 1 under 1500. I made this one, but we got this one now. What you're going to want to run with your Confusion Executor is Confusion, Seed Bomb, and Psychic. Uh, Legacy no more. I guess I should mention that part. Uh, Confusion Executor decimates fighters, poisons, and handles the Mud Boys with its 55 energy cost Seed Bomb. 55 energy. That's pretty good. Uh, I honestly can't think of a Pokemon that can have such a hard hitting fast move like confusion plus have a spammy charge move like that that's pretty incredible it definitely has its place in the meta and it's just how you want to build your team next up on the infographic we're going down to the bottom left where's the mud boys let's we'll start with swampert here where is my gal 
All right. With mud shot, hydro cannon, yes, hydro cannon, and earthquake. Um, yeah, that's what you're gonna want. Swampert is really kind of back with a vengeance. A lot of people are kind of down on him because of his. Uh, people are saying nerf, but I wouldn't call it a nerf, so to say. Um, outside of the grass type, Swampert really only worries about Altaria. Otherwise, he can honestly handle everything else. The fires, anti-flyers, handsomely. Um, just watch out for Altaria, grass types, and eh, I guess on occasion, rare other matchups. Going on with the Mud Boys, the next best thing is Wishcash here. Wishcash with Mud Shot, Mud Bomb, and Blizzard. Mud freaking bomb, man. It is so spammy. Look at that. Look, look at that three bar move. It's spammy, it's reckless, it's really what makes Wishcash so amazing. Poison, steals, fires, electrics, fairies, they don't stand a chance. Uh, Blizzard really gives it a good Hail Mary win condition against Altaria. And we all know that a one hit KO kind of move when it lands is really, really satisfying. <laughs> it's so nice. Moving on to the last of these Mud Boys, we have Quagsire with Mudshot, Earthquake, and either Stone Edge or Sludge Bomb. It's really up to you. I kind of feel that Stone Edge is more viable because what you want is to counter Altaria at all times. <laughs> Truth be told, so you want Stone Edge if you're me and if you're going to run Quagsire. But the Quagman is back. He kind of has a bit of a point to prove. Uh, he was pretty dominant in Tempest Cup, especially. That was probably his most dominant time frame in PvP. And this cup really resembles Tempest in a lot of ways, with Altaria running around, Charizard running around, the Mud Boys are here. Tropius isn't around, but there are still grass types. I mean, pretty similar. Um, again, Stone Edge is going to handle any flying types. And do we really need to talk about Quagsire too much? We know it's a legit Mon. Mudshot, Stone Edge is ridiculous. It can be fired off faster than you think for a one bar charge move. And you never know if it's Stone Edge or Earthquake, truth be told, unless you're really, really good at counting. But yeah, it's a good mod. Next up on the infographic on the bottom right, we're going to move on to the two fire types. The first of which being Marowak. Marowak, you're going to want Fire Spin, Bone Club, and Shadow Ball. Um, and. I know we're not talking about Charizard yet, but I honestly think it's just flat out better than Charizard. I'm sorry, but not really. <laughs> Much like Sinister Cup, I really think he's poised to dominate the meta. Uh, Fire Spin gives great coverage against Steel types, Grass types, Ice types, Bone Club. Great against the Steel types, good against the Poison types, Shadow Ball. Good against everything. It's just ridiculous. We know how Lola Marowak works at this point. Bone Club is its bait move and it's spammy as hell and Shadow Ball can come out of nowhere. He is a threat, and he is just better than Charizard, but since we're already talking about Charizard and he's next in the infographic, let's, let's talk about Charizard. Um, broken community moves are really what leave this Pokemon in relevance all the time, as well as a lot of other starters, of course, but uh, especially Charizard. Uh, and we get a chance to try out our shiny new toys, I guess, after this previous community day. He beats the Ice and Fairy types quite well, uh, but he's best, I think he's best suited to protect Altaria with the moveset Fire Spin, Blast Burn, and Dragon Claw. I know I have Air Slash here, but Fire Spin is what you're going to want, in my opinion. It really kind of helps Altaria. Altaria's two biggest weaknesses, as we said, is Ice and Fairy in the cup, and that's the thing that Charizard ha handles, is Ice and Fairy, so that would be its kind of niche. Yeah. It can handle grass and steel types, of course, but so can Alola Marowak, along with a lot of other things. Run Alola Marowak. Okay? Alright. <laughs> Next up, kind of at the top right of this infographic, of the main infographic, that is, is the, I guess we'll call them anti-Altarias. Bronzong and Alolan Sandslash. We'll start with Bronzong. And my oh my. All I could think of is the song for whom the bell tolls. <laughs> what can't Bronzong do in this meta? They can't beat the fire, darks, ground, and ghost types. 
I guess, but it really feasts upon everything else in the cup. It just really does. We know how good it is. We've seen it in a lot of other metas, but it's never been this good. And it, along with Altaria, to me, is the other staple in the cup. Run Bronzong, run Altaria, and maybe Alon Mirai could be the other staple. This is kind of my first glance at the meta, I'll be honest, but oh, Bronzong, man. All right. There is a lot to talk about when it comes to Alon Sandslash as well. Uh, I think every one of his movesets is really, really viable. He could have Powder Snow or Metal Claws the fast move. His charge move capabilities are Ice Punch, Bulldoze, Gyro Ball, Blizzard. But to me, uh, what I've always really liked with Alone Sand Slash is this moveset in Powder Snow, Powder Snow, Bulldoze, and Ice Punch. And I feel it's really, really good in this meta too. Ice Punch is definitely the one staple charge move because the combination of Powder Snow, Ice Punch is just going to rip through Altaria's. It's going to... Oof. You're going to do well against the Grasses and the Fairies. And with Bulldoze, it gives you uh, good coverage against Mirror Matches, against Bronzong, against poison types it's, it, it's a good move set and Lolan Slam Slash should not be slept on with his ice steel typing he's he only really fears fire and ground what a good mon all right so we have covered the main infographic that the game press has created we'll go ahead and move on to these uh that top right one uh and i'm gonna call them altaria alternatives is what i what i think they're trying to go for and to be honest, there really are none. Honestly, there aren't none. They could, they could put all these flying types up there. And what I think is, if you were to get one of these mons on your team, what you're wanting to do is double up on what Altaria's purpose in the cup is, and that is kind of just counter grass types, I guess. And if you really wanted that, I think the best thing to use would be uh, Venomoth. But you would want Legacy Venomoth. That I do not have. I can't show you that, but I can tell you how good it is. Um, Confusion, Silver Wind, and Poison Fang is the legacy move that you're going to want. It really handles the grass types, the fighters, poisons, and the fairies thanks to Poison Fang. It's just, it's a good mon. It's always good in every meta it can be in. It's not quite as good in this meta, I would say. But again, if you're trying to double up on this kind of niche, and also have Altaria, like you should you should have Altaria. Uh, Venomoth is a good double up. Next up we have the alternative anti-flyers. And to me, the one of note is Probopass here. Um, a lot like Alolan Sand Slash, he has a lot of good moves. Uh, his fast moves can be Rock Throw or Spark, Charge Moves, Magnet Bomb, Thunderbolt, Rock Slide. Uh, to me, and I know I don't have the move set yet, the optimal move set for him is going to be the Rock Throw fast move, uh, Thunderbolt, and Magnet Bomb. And with the one staple charge move being Magnet Bomb, it is fantastic. It's so spammy and it <clears throat> does really good damage against a lot of the meta. Uh, it's a really, really, really good Altaria counter. It honestly walls it, and it's good against the ice types, the fairies, and the poison types as well. And even with nothing super effective, it can handle grass types too. I know it sounds crazy, but it could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. I've, I've used it to do it in the past, and I know it can do it in this meta too. It's a good mon. Just ignore his big woolly nose mustache. Next up, we have the dark types. Uh, they show, what, four in this infographic, but to me, there is only one that really can do anything in this cup, and it is Alolan Muck. Uh, with preferably Poison Jab, Fast Move, Dark Pulse, and Sludge Wave. Um, he really does pretty well. He's good against the Grass Types, Fairies, Ghosts, and Ice Type. Uh, all he really worries about is Ground Type damage with his Poison Dark Typing he's only taking super effective damage from ground type moves and as we've already discussed there's kind of a lot of ground charge moves and some ground fast moves but otherwise uh Olamuk can run around pretty pretty well in this meta if you if you know what you're doing i will say that i don't think he beats anything in the meta overwhelmingly but i also don't think he really loses 
too overwhelmingly outside of things that run uh, Bone Club alone, Marowak, anything with Bulldoze, but you know, the only one that's spammy in that is Wish Cash with Mud Bomb and Alolan Marowak with his Bone Club. So that would be the bad matchups for Alolan Muck. Otherwise, I like him. Next up, we have the Fighters, and uh, we're going to talk about Heracross. Definitely talk about Heracross. Uh, with Counter, Close Combat, and Mega Horn. With the recent buff to Close Combat, um, I really feel that Heracross can finally have a relatively fast charge move that packs a really good punch. Um, it handles the likes of Ice Types, Steel Types, Rock, Dark, Poison, Grass, the Mud Boys. Oof. It's pretty good in the meta, I think. It's a little glassy, and Close Combat leaves you with a certain... A certain defensive weakness because it does debuff your defense, but it doesn't debuff your attack. I mean, it's still good. I know I said I was only going to talk about one of each of these categories, but I think it's a little too good to pass up. I am going to talk about Polyrath in this meta. And uh, I'm going to recommend the Mudshot Fast Move with Ice Punch and either Dynamic Punch or Hydro Pump. And again, Legacy No More. Mudshot Polyrath is here for all of us to enjoy. And honestly, it's just in time for Christmas. Wow. Thanks, Santa. That's a pretty cheesy joke. Um, why is Mudshot so important? Two words. Energy gain. Ice Punch fires off like a bat out of hell. It really crushes Altaria, crushes anything that Ice is good against. And it's really good for baiting. Uh, the second charge move is kind of subject to what you want out of your Polyrath. You got Hydro Pump, you got Dynamic Punch. I really feel that Hydro Pump covers the more core of the meta. It's good against Alolan Marowak, Charizard, Bronzong, and uh, a good Bronzong substitute being Claydol. It's good against that. Uh, whereas Dynamic Punch is more for um, Ice types like Celio. It's good against Dark types. It's good against uh, Blaziken if anybody were to bring that. Uh, as you could tell probably by my voice, I do feel that Hydro Pump is the way to go uh, for that second charge move. But definitely go with Ice Punch. Oof. Next up, we have the Fairy Types. And I really like Alola Ninetales. I'm going to give it an honorable mention. But what really, really looks good in the meta to me is our, our Queen, man. Wigglytuff with Charm, Play Rough, and Ice Beam. And yes, the Queen is back. And she's really not just here. She's not here just because uh, her charm animation throws up a little hearts, you know, <laughs> that may or may not be cute. Uh, honestly, if you feed this fairy queen your shields, she's going to wreck Altaria already. She's going to wreck the fighters. But she's going to put up a really good fight against pretty much everything else in the cup outside of poison and steel. Uh, and it's all due to her cutthroat power of charm i mean it's a ridiculous fast move much like razor leaf it's just charm is op man it's it's good it's what the fairies needed back in what was it jungle cup and she is the queen hey uh lastly we're gonna go over what they have labeled as the generalists and i want to talk about haunter and we're gonna actually talk about both forms of haunter but we'll start with what i personally prefer and what i prefer is the legacy haunter shadow claw shadow ball shadow punch and yeah that's right it's a legacy mon that remains something that trainers are going to want and probably always going to want and it is not just a glass cannon uh, you really missed the memo if you think that he of course does melt like butter i will admit but he will get three to four shadow punches off on you if not two shadow balls on you and he is going to take your shields or take your pokemon with him He's so good. He's just... I think he's just so good. Like, otherwise, what you're going to want to run is Shadow Claw, Shadow Punch, and Sludge Bomb, not Legacy. Uh, what Sludge Bomb really does for you is it allows you to uh, gain advantages, advantages against fairies and grass. That's what Poison's good against. I mean, it's just... That's what it's going to do. And... I guess I would have to admit that on paper, Sludge Bomb Haunter looks like the more clear version to thrive in this meta, just because of 
the presence of both fairy and grass. But I still really, really like Shadow Ball Haunter. <laughs> I know, I'm just biased. But that is pretty much it with the uh, infographic that Game Press put up. Uh, I might go more in-depth later in the month with other oddball picks as well as team composition. But otherwise, I feel like this should help cover what Game Press is showing the meta might be, if that makes sense. Uh, but anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. You all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.